What's up, Aztec fans? Augustine Gonzalez and Edward Lewis here at the Thomas and Max Center in Las Vegas, where Jamal Franklin hit an off-balance three-pointer while being guarded by two guys in the closing seconds of the game to give San Diego State a 65-62 win over Boise State. Uh, Edward, is, is it? are we even surprised anymore that Jamal Franklin makes the most big plays in the end of games? I don't, I, we were trying to explain it uh, after the game, you know, we were sitting on press row, and I, the only way I can explain it is Jamal, everybody knows by now, he's got kind of a quirky personality, it's a different personality, not, not that it's bad, it's just unique, and that's it's kind of the reason you, he, he makes some, of, or he used to make some of those boneheaded plays where he's throwing off the backboard, because he just doesn't, it, it's not wired right, you know, I mean, I, I don't mean like that but I mean it, it's just uh, it's a little bit different wiring and, and, and that goes in clutch time you know where me and you get nervous palm sweaty uh, you know shaking you know I can't make this shot he, he thinks it's another day at the office you know and it's just perfect it's perfect for a basketball player it's exactly what you want so Jamal you can't say enough about his game today. Oh yeah, he said at the post-game press conference that he, as soon as the ball left his hands, he knew it was going in. And Derek, Derek Marks and uh, Boise State's coach after, after the game said that everyone knew the ball was going to Jamal Franklin at the end of the game. Tim Shelton told me I went into the locker room after the game, and he told me that they were literally calling out the exact play while it was happening, and, and Jamal still got double teams, still shot off balance, and still made the shot. It's just an incredible, incredible play, and, and SDC had to have that. And SDSU tonight, uh, today also got a huge game from Chase Tapley. Uh, he led all scorers with 20 points. And uh, Steve Fisher said, too, that Chase Tapley is getting in the, back in the group of things and that he's playing back to the level that he was earlier in the season where where he was looking like a front runner for a conference MVP. Yeah, it's pretty amazing how a game where you almost lost to the eight seed and when you're a one seed can do so much for your confidence. You know what I mean? I mean, Chase Tapley breaking out of that slump for the first time in what, almost two months? I mean, uh, that was huge. Uh, Tim Shelton playing 17 minutes, you know, that's huge. Uh, Jamal Franklin hitting another game winner just further proving he's the MVP of this league. That's huge. I mean, it's, it's amazing how almost losing to an eight seed can do that for the Aztecs. And Edward, you mentioned that Tim Shelton uh, only played 17 minutes. Uh, and coming into the tournament, uh, Tim Shelton's knees were, were a big storyline. He's such an integral part of the team. And he got he di didn't uh, need to play a whole ton of minutes today, which, which is good looking for SDSU going forward. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing you take from this game is Tim's knees. You know, I talked to him and he said, you know, they're a little sore right now. We're going to go work with Tom Abner and get some ice on it and stuff. But playing 17 minutes in the first game is great. I mean, that way you figure you can play 25 25 and average, I guess, with 20 minutes, 25 five minutes a night. I mean, you're perfect. So, uh, you know, he, he's going to come back strong. He said he's still, it might bother him a little bit tomorrow, but he's going to play as, as much as he can, as long as he can, until he, until he goes for a while. And Edward, uh, uh, let's get your analysis on this game. Uh, uh, it really went down to the wire. Uh, is, is that, like, do you feel that it was bad that SDSU as a one seed let Boise State play them so tough? Or do you feel like that's just the level of the competition uh, in the Mountain West? It's, it's the Mountain West Conference Tournament, so anything can happen? Me, personally, I believe that it is the Mountain West. I mean, it, Boise State's knocked out some great teams this year, and, and, it, and it took UNLV to overtime. It almost beat SDSU in VA, which nobody does, you know. So, uh, But I, I defer this to Tim Shelton, you know. I kind of asked the same question to Tim, and he, he said when Jamal hit that game winner, his initial reaction was, was to go run after him and hug him and bear hug him, but then he thought to himself, man, we shouldn't have been in this position. So, you know, you take the good with the bad, but like I said, it, there's a lot of good that comes out of this game. I think it, they'd learn more about themselves winning this game like they did than they would have if they had blown them out by 30. And the best part for San Diego State is they get to live on in the tournament. Yes, sir. And uh, the Aztecs will uh, take the court again tomorrow at 6 p.m. and play the winner of Colorado State TCU, which is actually going on right now. Uh, for Edward Lewis, I'm Marcus Gonzalez. Thanks for staying tuned with the Extra Point with ASR.